Okay. Hey guys, it's Melissa. I decided I'd like to do, and I hope, hope, hope that some of you join me and share some of your past layouts, if not your current ones. Um, I, I don't know if I, if some of the people, I, it's hard to find layouts and different ideas and I like to see, you know, other people's ideas on that. But I think like me included, everybody's getting on like, you know, with Christmas pass and all. So now that Christmas is done, I'm going to try to work on my layouts and hopefully because I, I started YouTube when I started doing videos, um, <clears throat> I did a lot of these layouts before that, so I didn't share them. You know, and some of them, and for, if you have seen some of them, forgive me. I don't remember what I posted or what I didn't, but I know there wasn't many layouts. I've done a lot of them, but I haven't showed them on video because it was after I started, decided to do videos and join YouTube. Um, so what I'm going to do is share some layouts to hopefully give you guys ideas. And like I said, I really hope that some of you, even if they're old ones, it doesn't matter. Um, no, no, uh, ideas are, you know, unwanted and it, it just kind of helps to show everybody, you know, different, you know, maybe just some, even if it's just some easy little trick, because I know I've learned a lot just from watching YouTube videos, even if it's just something little, it could help somebody else. So, um, I encourage you all out there, if you can, it's really hard with my flip camera and my, I have the Mino, the, um, Ultra, the HD, the flip, and it's been giving me trouble. I, now even, I can't even zoom in. So I have this on my tripod now, so I'm not making you sick and shaking you. I'd really like to get closer to it, but my zoom button's gone zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. So I'm not even going to touch it. So I have this stick. I have a little um, yard stick that I'm going to try to point to stuff to to show you. But this is the um, one I'm going to start with. This was from December of last year. Um, again, we go to Johnson's Farm, and they had this really neat thing where they had this little... I don't know if you can see this little fire pit. And at the end, I want to get closer if I can with my tripod. But um, what it was is they had this little fire pit thing, and then you can go and you buy a s'more kit. And I think it was like $7, ridiculous. There was like three marshmallows, a Hershey chocolate bar, and a graham cracker for 7 or $8. But we didn't care, and we had fun. And then they give you like the little sticks to put them on. Um, and then there's this little fire pit that they have roasting, you know, outside. And you could meet Prance or two. And I have another layout of that, which I'll show you next. Um, probably in the next video. So we'll, I'll do one two-page layout at a time. Because I normally do two double-page layouts. Because I have so many pictures, it would be impossible to try to fit them on one. So, I, like I said, I'll try to remember. It's been so long. I'll try to remember the cartridges I used and anything like that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, but we'll start with the background paper. I don't know if you can see, but it is... Um, like a s'more paper, and I think I got that at AC Moore. There's like, um, the Hershey chocolate and the marshmallows and the graham crackers. So that's the background. So I thought that would be appropriate for this. And what I think I used was three birds, and that's a great cartridge. It even has a lot of good sentiments on there. Um, I don't particularly love, I don't like or not like birds, but birds aren't like my favorite thing. Um, but they were cute. They have birds doing it just about everything on there, like a cheerleader bird, a Santa bird, you know. Anything you can think of, but I more like it for these, these, um, just the titles or whatever. So I thought this one was appropriate. It says S'more Great Moments, and then I did cut it out in yellow and layered it, um, in the back with the pink, and I just doodled on it with little, um, brown marker and just did little dots, because sometimes when you do these cuts, the Cricut cuts, they just look too plain, especially compared to everything else. So I like to jazz the things up, and I don't know if you can see, but there's stickles, you know, on there. And let me see if I can... I'm just going to do some tripod work and get you closer. Um, so if you can see there, like the <clears throat> like the stickles and the different things I used for that. So I used that as my title, S'more Great Moments. And then um, I just took the pictures while we were there. And, of course, you had to be bundled up. And here's Maya down here with um, marshmallow all over her face, <laughs> um, eating the marshmallow. There's my husband and my daughter. They got their warm in their hands because it was a cold night out there in December. And I cut this little bird out roasting a marshmallow, and I used um, glitter paper for the marshmallow. And then I used stickles for his hat and all around him. And stickles really helps the Cricut cuts that are look too plain. And I used this. I don't know. I think this might have been from Create a Critter. Um, but I used this little fireplace thing, little fire with the face on it. 
And you see I matted the photos and added in the yellow behind it to try to pull in the yellow um, to try to tie the page together. So there's me and my daughter and my husband um, roasting marshmallows. And um, here's me eating um, the s'more. And there's Maya and my husband by the fire. See, that's what the fire pit looks like. And then there's them roasting the marshmallows. And here's my husband being silly, eating it. You'll see a lot of his silly shots. He's fun. Um, and then here's me and Maya just by the fire. And then there's another little fireman cut out in just various sizes. And there's the bird there roasting the marshmallow over here. And just another little flame thing there. And here I just titled it. Johnson's Farm, December 2010, which I really appreciate later me doing that because, you know, you think you won't forget, and you will. Um, you'll forget, you know, even even that was just last year. I don't think it was that the year before or the year, so it helps. If you can remember to date your layouts, that's a big thing because later you'll appreciate that to go um, in and see that. Um, what else do I want to show you? And some of them I double matted to bring the pink into. See the pink and the yellow of the photos? And this one here, I use my Stampin' Up! Ticket Corner Punch. That adds a good change. Um, so see that photo in the middle? And then I use some Baker's Twine here on the corner, um, on the corner of that photo with a little clear button. Um, and I think that's about it. That kind of covers that one. So sorry, you know, this flip camera is not the best as far as I have it. I have to have these back so far just to um, get both pages in, both sides in. So I hope that helps, and I hope that helps somebody just give you some ideas, because um, this made for really good pictures. Anytime you go to Johnson's Farm, day, day or night, as you can see, it makes for good pictures, and just try to remember to bring your cameras where you go, and you'll be glad you did later and you, when you get those photos in. So hopefully this will be the first of many um, scrapbook layout shares. Like I said, some may be old, some may be new, but um, anybody that has the time and has, you know, thing I'd love to see, even if, if you post it as a video response or just post it on your um, YouTube channel, that would be great to see and get more scrapbook layouts out there to kind of keep the ideas flowing. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.